Okay, we're back. All right, so I got my lighter. We're ready to burn down the house. Or burn my fingers. We're getting there. There we go. You don't necessarily have to have an albinol, albinol, I can't say it, shell to have the sage. You can just burn the sage in a different, in a container, in a glass container or what, a dedicated tank container of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be any, just make sure it's like a dedicated container for you. I just kind of take the sage and then just kind of bring it over and kind of cleanse yourself with it a couple of times. All right, now we're just going to take the cards and we'll kind of cleanse it. We're going to put it over the top of the cards. We can put it over the bottom, around, just when you kind of think, and I sometimes just kind of lay them out. After they've been in order, I just kind of lay them out on the, out on the table and kind of just put them in, spread them out. And then just kind of put them over. And then you're just going to say just a little type of small prayer. I had a little prayer that I had wrote. And it was just a one that said, Pray, dear of all, bless these cards, make them a channel of knowledge. Let me be able to read and answer and the needed questions and answers you want to give us. Amen. And some people will put them in the sun on their um, windowsill, put them on the sun, or put them out on a full moon outside. I... Don't do that because, I mean, there's wind outside and I don't want to take the chance of them blowing away. Um, you can take and put them outside, lay them outside and do that on a full moon. I just take them and just take the sage and just run, the, run them around up and down. And then I just say a, a small prayer. And usually that just kind of cleanse them. Make sure that you put them in order. Put them in order um, and say a short prayer. Um, if you have done some um, readings and you've gotten them, um, you know, you want to do a quick, do something quick um, with them, you can just put them in order. That just kind of recharges them really quickly. And then you can um, go ahead and, you know, do your readings. And plus, putting them in order lets you know that all of them are there. Because sometimes when you're doing readings, you can lose your cards and you don't want to lose them. I do have crystals that I put around here. Um, some of the crystals I like are the regular, um, just the quartz crystals. I love my cherry rose crystal. I have a um, obsidian, green obsidian crystal, and I have a opal, opal light crystal, I think it's called. I just grabbed some from my drawer. I have a, a stand that has a whole bunch of them, 
and I just grabbed them from there. I have this big rainbow crystal that I like to use. Whenever I do readings, I kind of set the mood a little bit. That's why I have this kind of cloth, which it hasn't been, um, hasn't been ironed. Like, um, some people don't iron theirs and I have to, you know, I should iron it. It's been, um, away for a while. It's been put up for a while and it should have been ironed, but it had not been ironed. So, but, um, I usually kind of just set the mood with a little bit of, um, a laying cloth to put your, um, your cards on. You don't necessarily have to have that laying cloth to put anything on. You could just set your cards down. And they say like a wooden table or um, something on wood. It doesn't really necessarily, you know, make a difference. It does kind of help because it's like all nature. So it's nice to have something that you have wooden and kind of just set your feet flat on the floor but my feet don't go flat on the floor because I'm short so I try to just do it as much as I can so once we get the cards kind of um all cleansed and then we are able to do our reading now our reading is going to be like I said short and steady we're going to start learning the first thing we're going to start learning is the major arcana cards but we're going to do that in the next video so if anybody has any questions they want to like comment and subscribe please subscribe and share this with other people um, in, that's interested in learning tarot cards um, the other thing i think i'm going to do um, next time is I know that somebody on another channel likes to cook, so I think I'm going to try doing a cooking video. So my next video will probably be me in the kitchen cooking, which is going to be funny because I don't really like to cook, but I decided I think I'm going to try showing you how I cook my meatloaf, which everybody says is never the same. And it's whatever I have in my kitchen is what we're going to put in the meatloaf. So that is always interesting. So if you um, really need to stay tuned for that. And I will be doing that hopefully a live. I'll be trying to do that live. So that will be very interesting because that will be my first live video. And that will be probably a good sight to see and very funny because I won't know how to do that. So we're going to just, I'm gonna just going to give it a whirl and we'll see what's going on and see if we can do it. So in the meantime, we're going to say bye. My sloth is going to say bye to you. And remember, he needs a name, so everybody needs to put a comment in there. And again, thank you for watching. If you want to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe. thank you.